Right, I know it's a bit extreme, but I've had to actually put the flash on my phone uh, so you can like see me a bit better. I don't want to be too dark. Obviously, you want to see my sexy face. Uh, but yeah, there's literally, it's so dark right now. It's like um, uh, after 10 pm at night. And um, yeah. This place. Oh, damn. Uh oh! Is that his teddy bear? Right, I'll try read this. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. Uh, I'm not truly really worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing. I wish they had better handwriting, you know. Oh my god! Was I even there before? Freaking poor teddy bear! Damn! I'm so sorry, bro. I I would have saved you if I was there. I'm sorry. Sorry for the loss of your um eye. Damn! It's just reminded me of that song. I don't know why. If I've been forgotten, I Joe, I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Carnage. Did you know it's actually about an STI, that song? How disgusting is that? Like, my childhood is ruined. Like, I used to go mental to that. You know, when, like, bloody year six disco with me panda pop, me refresher bar, and me uh, flame shit. <laughs> oh my god, honestly. But yeah, that's that's a fun fact. Um, you learn something new every day. Uh, Cotton Eye Joe, the song, is about an STI. Disgusting. Anyway, back to the park. Callum! Oh, it reminds me, we need to press B to call him. Callum? Sounds pretty quiet. <laughs> this old thing used to make the blood run to my head. Callum Rapop. He's just more reading. Just Those poor kids. So there's an incident here. I'll try to cut this down. Uh, eyewitness report. So they're waiting for the turn on the ride. Fellow in the chipmunk suit is making the eyes carve them while people took photographs. Um, chipmunks carve and pick away at the eyes to make some kind of animal. But more and more eyes fell away. When you first looked like a human face smiling out of the block of eyes, but the more you looked, the more you saw it was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little faster. Like you were prey, and that thing in the ice was a hunter. What? Then his teenagers walked up. One of them made a face at the cabin, said something rude to the guy, and then, it, well, he went berserk. For a few more moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy. Who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick. Oh my god, and the blood was spraying, and people were screaming, and Frank and I had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. The last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that. The eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Oh my god, what kind of people do the employee? Like, did he not have like a police check or something? Damn. Oh my god. Well this is pretty freaky. Uh how how do we how do we get on this? Where, where are we going next? So we can't Come jump on, right then. Stay oh. where you are. Uh, repaid. Oh, not another reading. Frustrated by the fact that the plans seem incomplete, I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game could be changed with enough money, but no matter how much money talks, it can't conjure up missing plans from thin air. I've tried contacting the organisation who sold me these plans, and they are... So don't wall in me. Every concert that I had, every meeting place that I have had watched are uh, swept bare. I have a sinking feeling that I have been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find in the plans regardless, the harvesting machines, the transport mechanisms, etc. 
I'll probably let, let Nicholas name them something cute for the day we open the park. They will be right after all. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry it's a bit of a drag, guys, because I keep reading these out. I just want to try and find out what's going on, you know. But if, if you don't want to um, hear about me rambling <laughs> and try to read them, uh, just, just skip through. Um, I don't know if they're that important. There we go. Found a control thing here. We've got to be this tall. Is there just anything here yet? Oh, increase or decrease the speed? Should we, like, increase it and then go on it? Should we make it into, like, a crazy-ass speed and then go on it? I can't get on while it's moving. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit stupid. We can't just hop on, can we? Let's decrease the speed right down, then we can hop on. Near enough silence, so I think we're good. I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, let's press it again. <laughs> right, that's pretty much still. There we go. Alright. It's a freaking weird game, I'm not gonna lie. Sit back and enjoy the ride, hey guys. Uh oh, I don't like this. It's too fast. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! Oh my god! Friggin' teeth on that! Jaws in hell! Oh! It's getting close, I don't like it. Oh! Please no. It's so dark in here right now. I'm totally putting myself through this for your entertainment. <laughs> so it looks cool because it's all dark. Oh! A damn Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Oh. Me and Callum. Look at she looks like Elvis. <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hound dog. He looks like um he looks like he's got like an old school hair, do he looks like um I don't, I don't know why but it's coming to my head. Some thoughts. I'm sorry. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled red bawling thing and I thought is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Trying to get in here, see if it's an entrance. But what I was saying, so she looks like Elvis, um, and I don't know why his old school kind of cheeky bob hairdo it reminded me of um, one of the monkeys, you know, the um, the band. And then I saw her face. Do, 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 now I'm a believer. <laughs> what? What even is that? I don't know how my mind works. I really don't. Oh my god. Thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags. There aren't that, that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping, and most of that gossip is about Chad. I miss Steve, see? Even I'm starting to call him Chad. I went to school with a guy. It's that goddamn... Ooh... Something. <laughs> in the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local... Ugh... Something as Chad, the chipmunk, child-friendly mascot. Lock up your daughters and all of that, but... Once he wears that suit, the weirdest Steve, the weirder Steve is getting. Also, I think the suit's making him weird. He was like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. That's creepy. What the hell's he doing with that suit, man? Um. Okay. Saw him at Susie's dad still wearing it. It wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained uh, about the smell. Oh. 
Uh, apparently Steve has picked up some new skills. Uh, oh, he can carve a mean ice sculpture. The shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today. He just hung around for a while. Couldn't really tell because of the suit. Seemed like he was staring at me, sizing me up. I fucking me. <laughs> Whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wasted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Is it what he wasted? Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve wandered off. Uh, my supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura something. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> that made me jump! Oh! I don't like it because it's so dark in here. I don't like it. Can I get in there? Oh! Oh! This is genuine right now. Oh, this is horrible. Let me go find the door again because there was a door. Oh my god. I don't think we can get in. Oh, watch some come out the window again. Oh. Oh. This is. Oh. Can we just walk away from this? Oh. <laughs> I'm such a wimp. I'm absolutely sweating, Elia. Where to now? Are we going around here? Oh, we walk. Crashes in eighties music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, we might go on the cheeky dog jumps. I like these. Come out, sweetie. I don't know where that came from. Oh, the newspaper. Places. Financial genius or eccentric? Um, I'm not really sure what this is about, but I, I literally could not hardly read any of it, so we could check up on it later or something, <laughs> uh, if you guys want to pause it and read it. That is not uh, legible at all. Right, let's see if we can go on the cheeky dodgems then. It's a pretty weird game so far, so I guess it, we need to get on this one, because it's lit up. Oh, a damn an accident report. There was an accident on here. Okay, John transported the bumper cars into the... Nice. Uh, one of the straps attaching... The load of the truck came tired, causing the cascade bumper cars onto France, who was standing direct in the driver. France was crushed by the weight of the cars. France was killed. Uh, did you see a doctor? Yes. Do you follow them boys? No. Yes. Uh, Dexter truck driver claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. No one else reported seeing that. The sheriff had requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What's piss got to do with this? Do you... Oh my god, I don't know. Uh, what could have been done to prevent this? Double checking the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screening for all drivers. Damn, I bet it was... Oh! Oh! Was it him in the chipmunk suit or something? Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh, why am I playing this in the dark? Get me out of here! Do I, do I have to get on that or anything now? Right, let's... Oh, I've, oh, I've genuinely got chills. This is horrible. I always think, nah, I won't get that scared. You alright? Oh. It's just so hard because I've never played this before, so I don't know what to expect. So you're just seeing my first-time reactions here. Public record that I am a failure as a mother. Oh. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. 
Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Okay. Oh, continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they're, they are locals and so they believe a lot of the rumours about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales. Every time a, ooh, a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Uh, of course, that is why I chose this site over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I came in for a few favours back in Brooklyn, got someone in the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I'm missing. I must look so ugly and gormless when I try to read these. I'm like, can't see anything. But yeah, this is, this is pretty freaky. Like, I, I don't know what's coming up. Um, obviously, I, I did play through Resident Evil. That was my first playthrough uh, for my channel. Um, but I've played it so many times. It still scares me, genuinely. But I kind of know what's coming. But on this, I genuinely don't. Uh, what's this? Are we decreasing the speed so we can get on this now? Is this what we're doing like throughout the whole game? I, I don't know. That's what I'm guessing. Like, are we, um... Are we just taking a ride on every ride in this park or something? Maybe it's one of them games where you don't have to fight anyone. Uh, you just... They just jump out at you or something. I don't know. Kind of like Ladies of Fear, you can't do anything with that. That's like a proper jumping one. I'll be playing that soon as well for my channel. Okay. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. It's a really sad story. I mean, you know, we've had a bit of a laugh so far, but, you know, obviously when it gets to these bits, I want to listen, you want to listen as well, so I keep quiet, and then I'm a bit like, oh. <laughs> Usually I'm, like, so happy and smiley, but it, you know, it's kind of bringing my mood down a little bit. You know, it's it's sad, you know. It's a sad story, I think. Oh, why has it gone dark? Oh, why has it gone dark? Oh. <laughs> Freaking scary. This is creepy, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it'd be a bit darker though, to be fair. Maybe maybe it might be a bit later on, but what's off? I did think it'd be a bit darker. Take roller coaster ticket. Oh! <laughs> 